Welcome everyone to my latest video review. I know it's been a while since I um, did one. I've just been extremely busy, but I have finally the um, Dino Charge Blue Ranger. It was such a mission trying to get him, but I'll get into that later on when we talk about pricing and when, where you can get him. So this is what the box looks like. Honestly, after the plastic bag, the new Lightning Collection boxes, they're very underwhelming. I really loved the very first versions where you had this window here. We actually this looks so much more better where you had like a nice uh picture of the ranger and you saw like the figure and everything. It just was very presentable. But the new one just is very underwhelming. But hey, at least they did what they could. We have a really nice picture of um the blue ranger holding a sword. And it says here, Diamond Chart Blue Ranger. It would have been nice if they made this one blue to kind of go with the blue theme. And then on the back here, we have a picture of uh, the Blue Ranger. Sorry about that. This, the end of this box is kind of wall, so it can stand on its own. And we have a picture of the Blue Ranger with the accessories. It's weird because Pink Ranger had like um, her own weapon. But this one doesn't come with it. So it's weird how they're kind of all over the place with accessories. You get that effect piece, you get the sword, and you get the coda head, and the helmet, and also um, the gun. It's a bit different here because the earlier figures, they came with the ranger helmet, and the accessory was the ranger uh, civilian head. But the other way around with this one here, it's uh, you get the civilian head already attached. So that's what it looks like. This is what the side of the box looks like. You have a nice picture of the Blue Ranger. I mean, for display purposes, if you're using the boxes, it would look really cool having the different Rangers. But then for Dino Charge, it would look off because we have all the other Rangers in the old styling. But for a Ranger team that hasn't been released yet or is starting to get released, like let's say Power Rangers Turbo or Lightspeed Rescue, uh, it would look really nice because you have all the different rangers uh posted with this the side view looks really nice so there you have it that's the boxing for the dino charge uh, rangers so here's the blue ranger figure i must say they did an amazing job with coda he actually looks like um the actor from the tv show and i love the blue that they use on the figure it's nice and vibrant I was debating on putting the helmet first and then showing um, of the civilian head later, but since it's already on, I'm going to show it this way because the new figures, you kind of have to be careful with them. They're not as durable as the older lightning figures. I've actually read uh, stories where uh, pieces have snapped off and so forth. So I don't want to do too much interchanging of the helmets that I have to. So just show it to, show it to you guys like this. We'll check out the helmet after. The accessories it comes with this really nice um, sword from the TV show. It would have been nice if um, the yellow was or the lime green is a little bit more transparent instead of a solid color. It would have given off a really nice laser like finish. This is the helmet for the Blue Ranger. So far, it seems. To be that everything looks really great doesn't seem to have any defects and here's the gun slash marker and something i've noticed with the newer lightning figures is that they put the fisted hands already on the figure and the extra arms are the open figures and open hands so you would use for the weapons, which is weird. And let's look, take a look at the figure here. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you have it. I feel like Kodano Charge had some of the best designs. I really love the sash that they have going there. It looks really cool. I can't wait to um show you guys all the figures together because I myself haven't seen the full Dino Charge team together. I only open these uh, figures once I'm doing the review. Before that, I never opened them. 
But yeah, we technically have the main team of Dino Charge complete, which is very exciting. Here's our Blue Ranger with the weapon. I switched the heads and it was such a mission. I don't like how you don't hear a click sound anymore when you insert the head, because at least that's how I knew the head was in place. I really had to force my, um, use my strength to put the head on. And I felt so nervous that I was going to break something off, but that's what he looks like uh, holding his weapon. Let's check out the articulation. So here's the arm. So you can move it uh, side to side. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good like hold on the paper so you guys can see properly. With side to side, you can uh, lift up, down, you can rotate it where the shoulder is. You can um, move the portrait from the elbow up and down. You can rotate the glove. The chest, you can move it back like so, or inward like so. You can even extend the chest and the arms here. Just be careful with these new figures because it is a bit stiff, so you don't want to force it and then end up breaking it. And same thing with this arm, but the legs can go side to side, up and down, rotate it. So with this Blue Ranger figure, be very careful. I actually write a few reviews that said when they um, try to play around with the figure, the leg actually snapped off. Be careful when you're like playing around. Even you know, me, I'm being very careful when I'm training your articulation. Because after my Adam incident, I'm trying to be very careful. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for articulation. There's not too much going on here the head. You can like, you know. See, I don't think I put the head on. Probably it looks like it's going to come off in the moment. But I'm not going to force it any further. Because knowing my luck, it'll probably snap off a little head. And uh, that's pretty much it for articulation. So here's a comparison of uh, the Bandai figure and uh, the Lightning Collection figure. Honestly, I'm super excited that we have the full team of uh, Dino Charge figures in a pro proper scale. I always hated the Bandai figures after, I think, RPM. They made them way too small, and even the 5-inch figures weren't like a proper size. So they look like... So the original Bandai figure was actually a darker blue. To be honest, I prefer the darker... I guess, I don't know, I guess I would prefer the darker blue over the blue we got for Lightning, but I don't know, they both look really good. It's hard to choose, actually. And um, one thing I love about the Bandai figure is that they made the arms really dark, just like it is in the TV show. The Lightning figure also has a darker shade, but it's not dark enough to kind of make it more pronounced, because in the TV show or the actual suits, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, their um, arm from the el shoulder to the elbow was actually quite darker than their original suit. So, this is what the back looks like for the like, 90s figure. Sorry, not 90s. I'm so sorry. I'm so used to saying 90s, but Dino Charge was uh, 2014. I might be remembering my years incorrectly. As you can see, it's not colored, but this one is colored. But then again, take into account the original Bandai figure was actually um, only like $10 versus the $20 or more that you're paying for the lighting figure. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and one thing I did not really care for is these tiny figures had a really small head versus a head that's proportionate like the lighting figure. So. I'm super excited to see the team together. So here I have all six Dino Charge Ranger figures together. And I must say, I love them. They finally got um, a beautiful re representation. Because those figures we got during its original run were horrible. They were so tiny and yeah, they were just not right. But these figures, they look beautiful. One thing I did notice, however, so some of the figures, let's say red, I had a hard time getting the helmet on, but Tyler's head went on with ease. 
pink. I had a really hard time getting the helmet on. And and Shelby's head took forever to get on. So like, sorry, the helmet went on easily, but getting Shelby's head on the figure was really hard. And then Blue Ranger, the helmet took forever to get it on, but Koda's head went on easily. And then the other three, the helmets went on with ease. And the help the human heads was it was really weird how it's like so on and off like either one head goes on really well and then there's the other head that you have trouble getting it on it's it's weird i wish casper would have played with it a bit more so that we could have gotten both the human head and the helmet on the piece anyways that's my little spiel there and as far as accuracy goes um if i were to pick a winner I have to give it to Red. I mean, Red is the only figure that I noticed that have these uh, plates on his gloves that are like painted, but the rest don't have that. So he has slightly an upper hand there. If I had to choose the worst figure, it would definitely go to Gold because they didn't paint his neck white. So he stands out like a sore thumb. And also, what's with the cheese gold that they use? Because I would have loved an actual gold, like the gold detail on, on the Seal Rangers. They should have actually given him back color. It would have looked so beautiful. But uh, but yeah, love these figures. And I highly recommend you guys to get them and get them for a good price. Here's all six Dino Charge Rangers without their uh, helmets. Honestly, Hasper did, did an amazing job they got. Most of the team, very accurate. I mean, Riley is a hit or miss. Uh, he kind of looks like Riley. He kind of doesn't. It uh, depends on which angle you look at look at him. But all the others, they look amazing. Pretty much a solid team. And uh, I must say, the little helmets that I was uh, putting next to the Rangers, they, I like how they have like, a glossy look to it. It makes it feel like a real helmet. But for some reason, gold and red's helmet is a very like dull color. It's not glossy, and it's not, it's like a matte finish, which is weird. It has more of a cheaper. But the other ones look really awesome. Even you know, their helmets, they didn't manage to uh, screw it up. They did a great job. I mean, I don't know if like diehard fans of the Sentai or uh, Dino Charge can see some notable differences, but. From what I can tell, they look amazing. There aren't like any jarring like defects or anything like that. However, if I had to choose one as far as accuracy goes for the human helmets, uh, definitely have to give it to Chase the Black Ranger. He is the best. They did an amazing job with him. And it's awesome. And one thing I noticed as far as inconsistencies go, the red black and gold rangers they have a really distinctive difference in color for their arm but the green blue and pink rangers the arms aren't really that different in shade of color compared to like the rest of their suit that's one thing i know i mean it's not a big thing for me I, I, it's whatever but that's what i did notice for all of them and far and also as far as the zigzags on their um chest go. I know it's the black range, it's a lot more like bolder, it's a lot more lightest pattern. Same with green and red. But then blue, it's a lot more like thinner. And for pink, you have like a different it almost looks like a lime green. It's not like a yellow like the rest of them. There are a little bit of inconsistencies there. And I know some people have pointed out that gold has like a non-colored neck it's supposed to be white but they colored it the dull gold but uh, yeah that's what they look like and honestly they look amazing so we have reached the end of the review one thing i did notice while um trying to post this figure is that for a new figure the leg joints are actually pretty loose i'm pretty surprised it's normally when it's new they're very stiff but one thing you want to do is just be careful with this figure because a lot of the reviews that i read on this they said the leg did tend to snap off so um, 
you just be careful of that. As far as um, what I think of this figure, would I recommend this? Definitely, I would recommend it. If you're a Koda fan, I would say go for it. Like, the resemblance is there with the civilian help, uh, head, almost a helmet. And then um, if you have the rest of the Dino Charge team and you're planning to get it, I highly recommend it because the consistency is there versus other teams where we've seen, like, silver outlining it near their helmet or some have white like dino thunder and seal like we don't have that going on with dino charge so i would definitely recommend it so regarding where you can get this so there are some places where you can get it actually right away amazon us if you order from them you can get it within the week um there is also big bad toy store that has it but they use the uh, really uh, sketchy like shipping company known as Ascendia and they take a while to uh, ship your product within two days they will ship it out and in that process it takes about a month to get to you and it's it was not a pleasant experience and there are some other websites like Hasbro Pulse, Big ba um, sorry not Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth and Amazon Canada that do have it on pre-order for March 1st. If you're a Canadian like me, and if you're if you're if you're patient and you can wait for this figure and you're you want to pay retail, I would say Amazon Canada. But I stupidly uh, paid a little bit more and did the um, big bad toy store. Because in the past they've been known to um, ship your products and you would get it within the week and with the slow shipping too. But unfortunately with the sand, yeah, that is not the case. So be uh, prepared for that if you do want to uh, use a bad toy store. If you're in the US, it might, I don't know if it's, it most likely is better for you where sick nationally. I thought I should warn you guys. So anyways, um, as far as pricing goes, this is like, I want to say some specs have for like $25.99, others for $29.99, but if you're a Canadian, it's like $35.99. So, yeah, those are the prices there. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, tuning in. I really appreciate it. And please uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment. It really does help. Thank you and have a wonderful day.